Isaiah 52. Now, now I want you to watch this, verse 1 and 2. Are you ready? Now, come on, stay with me because I'm closing now. I need you to hear this. Awake! Awake! Put on your strength, O Zion. Put on the beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. The holy city from henceforth there shall no more come into thee, the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake yourself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Zion talking about the church. Wake, awake. Go to Judges chapter 5. Bible drill. Hallelujah. Judges chapter 5. You ready? Verse 12. Huh? Wait. <laughs> I will. I'm just, I'm just picking at you. <clears throat> Judges chapter 5. When you get there, say, I'm there. I'm there. Verse 12. This was when, uh, talking about Deborah and Barak and so forth. It says, starts out with this. Awake, awake, Deborah. Awake, awake. Utter a song. Arise, Barak, and lead thy captivity captive, thou son of Abinoam. Then he made him that remaineth have dominion over the nobles among the people. The Lord made me have dominion over the mighty. Awake, awake, dominion over the mighty awaits you, O Zion. Look at Job. Let's go over to the book of Job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go over to Job. Come on. Chapter 8. Verse 6. If thou wert pure and upright, surely now he would awake for thee and make the habitation of thy righteous prosperous. Though thy beginning was, was small, yet thy latter end should greatly increase. So no matter what we've seen, no matter what we've seen go wrong, no matter what we saw when the church was asleep, we are going to awake to righteousness and our latter end will be greater than a, oh, come on. Somebody ought to shout. Hallelujah. Now we're going to go over to Psalms. Go over there quickly. Psalms 57. Hallelujah. We're going to go over there. We want to look at something that's tremendous. Everything in the Word of God is tremendous. I want us to look at verse 1. Be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Notice that word, soul. My soul trusteth in thee, yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. He shall send from heaven and save me. There is your invasion coming from heaven. Oh, come on now. From the reproach of him that would swallow me up, Selah. Pause calmly and think about that. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongue a sharp sword. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me into the, into the midst whereof they are fallen themselves. In the time of the overtaking and overthrowing of the soul, they have dug a pit for themselves now. Selah. Pause calmly. Think about it. 
My heart is fixed, oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake up my glory. Awake psaltery and harp. I myself will awake early. Three times he said, awake my glory. Let's wake up the glory. We need to wake up the glory. What glory? Not only resurrection power, but the glory of God also translates wealth. It translates prosperity. You need to wake it up that your prosperity does not depend on banks and governments. That your prosperity depends on this invasion that's about to take place. And God making you a hot spot that he can speak through, come through, operate through. Start saying it. Oh, wake up, glory. Wake up, glory. Come on. Hallelujah. Awake psaltery and harp. We did that earlier. I myself will awake early. Start saying that. I'll get up early. I'm going to start seeking him early. I'm going to call for the glory to be awake today. The glory will raise the dead. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above the earth. That is the great invasion of revival. This is the awakening I'm talking about. This is what has begun. If you need proof that these uh, wicked jackals are not going to be able to pull off what they planned on doing. They're not going to be able to take our elderly or our young. We're not giving up one person. We're not giving up any ground. We're taking nothing from them. And if, it's, if you need proof of it, you need to realize this. this is, the Bible talks about this awakening, this glory, this that's coming. And when the, Jesus walked to the tomb of Lazarus, the, his sister said, Lord, it, uh, He's dead. He stinks. He's been dead four days. Jesus said this. He said, do you believe your brother will rise again? They said, yea, Lord, in the last days at the resurrection. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. And then he ordered the stone rolled away. And he told them, you'll see the glory if you'll believe. And then he raised him from the dead. It don't make any difference what's going on, what you see right now, what you're looking at. The mere fact that you got proof they're going to fall is because of the glory has been called for and the awakening has begun. And people are being saved by the thousands. Hallelujah.